In this lesson, you'll learn what the rule of thirds is, why it is important, and why it's a rule that's meant to be broken. As a beginner photographer, when someone asks you to take a photo of them, what do you do? If you're like most beginner photographers, you'll set the subject in the middle of your frame and snap a photo. Hopefully you've composed the image with enough headroom, the space above the subject's head and the top of the frame, and you're not cutting off the top of their head. Also, hopefully you're not giving too much room above the head with your subject floating at the bottom of the frame. Centering your subject is the natural thing to do, but to create a more balanced photo that is more pleasing to the viewer's eye, following the rule of thirds can help. What this means is placing the subject of your photo to the left or right of the center of the frame. More specifically, this means overlaying your frame with two horizontal and two vertical lines Placing your subject near the intersection of these lines is what we mean by the rule of thirds. Let's do a quick demo to see what this actually looks like. Here we are photographing Sam, and right now I have him centered in the frame. Right now I'm gonna take a quick pic. And this photo is all right. It's just centered, it's not really that interesting. But I think that by using the rule of thirds and just shifting my frame over slightly, it's going to create a more pleasant photo to look at. So just gonna take that, putting Sam on the left-hand side of the frame. There we go. Even maybe zooming in just a little bit. So I've put Sam's face in that intersection of the top left lines, the horizontal and the vertical line. And I was also making sure that Sam's eyes were on the upper third of the frame using the rule of thirds. Placing the main focus of your photo in this intersection, and it doesn't have to be a person, it could be whatever object you're photographing, creates a pleasing balance that is more natural for your viewer to look at. Studies show that people's eyes naturally go towards one of these intersection points automatically, rather than to the center of an image. So placing your subject there helps make a more balanced and visually appealing image. Another use for the rule of thirds is where to put your horizons. Placing the horizon perfectly straight along the bottom or top line is a good rule of thumb. So next time you're taking a photo of a friend, try composing them using this rule. But like we've been saying, it's a rule that's meant to be broken. In an upcoming lesson, we'll look at symmetry, a style that breaks the rule of thirds, but results in some very interesting photos.